Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we're on workbook lesson 244. I am in danger nowhere in the world. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Your son is safe wherever he may be, for you are there with him. You need but call upon your name, and he will recollect his safety and your love, for they are one. How can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer, be endangered, or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you, beloved and loving, in the safety of your fatherly embrace? And there we are in truth. No storms can come into the hollowed heaven of our home. In God we are secure. For what can come to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him? Let me read this one again. I am in danger nowhere in the world. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Your son is safe wherever he may be for you are there with him. He need but call upon your name, and he will recollect his safety and your love, for they are one. How can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer, be endangered, or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you, beloved and loving, in the safety of your father's embrace? And there we are in truth. No storms can come into the hallowed heaven of your home. In God we are secure. For what can come to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him? This is a great lesson, but it's very challenging, I can expect. Um, I, I think that I think it's hard for to even imagine Christ saying that as he's nailed to a cross, dying. Right? I am in danger nowhere in the world. Or George Floyd being kneeled on for eight minutes and forty six seconds. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Those words would not resonate in those moments, do they? And yet, what we're talking about here is a much larger, much larger uh, place in the world. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's challenging, and, and I understand that. But what we have to remember is the larger context that everything is an illusion. And when you, when you study this lesson with that in mind, it's much easier to understand what's trying to be explained and taught here. Much of most, everything of our experience is about how we respond to what we experience. And if we forget, and we think that we're these bodies, and there, there are these things around us, and that this world is somehow finite, and that when we die, we're going to go into the ground, and that's where we're going to end up, then it's very hard to, to wrap your head around a lesson like this one. I'm in danger nowhere in the world. Because you are not that body. So... Perhaps it would be easier to say, you know, um, my body's in danger, but I'm not, as a way to try and show you that you're not the body, right? And that the you that you really are, are nowhere in danger, ever. Nothing bad ever happens to you. It's just experience. And so remembering the lesson from the other day, judging it, don't judge it. It's just the experience. 
And if, if possible, if you can find a way to start to feel safe with this lesson, to understand that when you feel fear, you can make a choice in that moment to calm yourself and to realize that the appearances are fearful, but that ultimately you are safe. Ultimately you are okay. You will be okay. You will always be okay. So I, I hope some of this has helped. And um, if you need me, you can reach out for additional support at uh, either Facebook or YouTube, or you can message me at 907-351-3003. And I always forget to mention the websites as well, but there's lindalamp.com and also lindalamp.shop. Thank you again. Namaste and much love.